<sighs> School was so hard today. I'm never going back. Didn't you take a nap in like half of your classes? Yeah, but that's because the teachers were like super hard and hella boring. Fuck those teachers giving us work and shit. <laughs> it was normal everyday work. No, it wasn't. Shut up. Bet. Let me guess. You probably had to take notes, read, take a quiz or two, answer questions. No, we. <laughs> well, shit. That's exactly what we did. Fuck. I don't know why you think I don't know. We've been in the same class for the last, what, seven years? Yeah, that sounds about right. We met in Mr. Hardass's class in middle school. Mr. Hardy. But yeah, I'm surprised you even remembered. Okay, just because I suck at school doesn't mean I'm a shitty friend. Like, bitch, we hang out 24-7 and tell each other everything. Who invited you to your first sleepover? You did. Who gave you your first makeover? You did. And who made you into the bad bitch that you are today? My mom. Bitch! Okay, okay, you did. That's right. And don't you forget it. <sighs> Anyways, my mom texts. Are you staying for dinner? Sure. Chicken or steak? Um... Bitch, just choose one. All right, all right, fine. I'll take the chicken. Jesus, how come you're bitchier than usual? <sighs> Sorry, it's because. Never mind. What? Tell me. No, it's nothing. Come on, best friend. I thought we told each other everything. <laughs> okay, but I know you're gonna think it's stupid. I won't, I promise. No, you're gonna think it's stupid and laugh at me like always. No, I won't. Who's the bitch that made fun of me for weeks because I accidentally sat in chocolate and looked like I shit myself? Okay, but that was one time. Mm. Who made fun of me in front of the whole class because my dumb ass thought the White House was in California? Okay, but you can't blame me for that. <laughs> Anyways, I don't want to talk about it anymore, so let's just drop it. Okay, okay, but if something's bothering you, you gotta talk about it. Fine. Okay. So today in math class, I saw Jake talking to Skylar, and I mean, really talking her up, which made me think, oh my God, are they talking? And when I say talking, I mean, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Go on. Okay. Well, anyways, I heard from Brenda, who heard from Kelly, who also heard from Jasmine, that they're not fucking, but they are talking, <laughs> which made me think, oh my God, what the fuck, Skylar? Cause you know that skank is stolen like everybody's boyfriend and but that's been stuck with me all day i can't seem to stay focused and at lunch i broke my nail and i spilled my strawberry milk and now we're, we're here and well <laughs> oh my god it's not funny sorry it's just i've never seen someone cry over literal spilt milk and a broken nail Besides that, I mean, who cares if Jake is talking to Skylar? I mean, Jake wasn't a good boyfriend. And yes, he was. Jenna, didn't he always forget your birthday? Okay, but... And isn't he the one that cheated on you? Yeah, but that's because I wasn't giving him enough attention. And I mean, everybody forgets things. I know I do. Well, I think you deserve someone better than him. Someone who actually cares about you and will be there for you. I know. You're right, and it's just, Skylar, she, she's just a fucking bitch, okay? Like, who does she think she is talking to my ex like that? Oh yeah, she's such a terrible person. I just can't believe that fucking bitch stole my boyfriend. Who the hell does that cake face hoe think she is? Yeah, how dare she steal your ex-boyfriend that you broke up with over three months ago? That is not the point. Skylar knows I still might have feelings for Jake. She, she, she's just a fucking bitch, okay? Jesus Christ, there's no reasoning with you, is there? Skylar's just trying to find love like me, you, and everyone else in the world. Maggie, why are you sticking up for her? I thought you were supposed to be on my side. <laughs> Wait, do you like her? 
Jenna, shut up. No, I don't. It's not even like that. Ah, oh my God. You have your first high school crush. Okay. It's totally okay if you like someone, but why Skylar? She's just a cocksucking bitch. For the last time, Jen, I don't like her. Okay. Okay, fine. You don't like her. Because you love her. What? No, I don't. <laughs> Maggie and Skylar sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. Can you not? First comes love. Jenna. And then comes marriage. Please. And then comes the baby and the carrot. <laughs> okay. Look, I don't like her, and I'm not defending her. I just, I just want you to get over Jake. You dated a lot of guys who have treated you like shit. Okay, and. And I think you deserve better. I think you deserve someone who actually cares about you. And Jake was not a good guy. I just, I think you deserve someone who will laugh at your jokes and cares about you. And someone, someone like me. No. Um. <clears throat> Sorry, it's just, uh, Maggie, it's okay, it's just, I thought we talked about this. I know, I know. <sighs> Let's not get into this right now, because my mom will be coming to get us for dinner at any minute. Yeah, but I- No, Maggie, it wouldn't work. I know, but if we can just discuss it? Okay. Would our friends accept us? What would they think? Okay, but- and do you remember how those people in the grocery store shamed us just because we held hands? Yeah, but... And my parents, how would they feel about... But how does that feel? It feels... It feels right. I think that's all that matters. <sighs> okay, but my parents... Look, I think you know how hard it is to come out. I mean, you saw me freaking out to my parents when coming out. I feel like I won the lottery with the parents I have because they understand me. But it wasn't always like that and you know it. I know, I know. It's just, I'm scared my parents will disown me. And then who will I have? They'll have me. They'll have me for whatever happens. I'll love you forever and I won't shame you. And I'll be there for you no matter whoever or whatever you want to be. I just, I really care about you, and I just, I think you deserve someone better than him, and it, I just don't think you should date guys that just don't appreciate you and treat you like shit. Do you know how much it hurts me to see you not being the real you? When I met you, I had no one. I couldn't be friends with girls because they all thought I was into them. And I couldn't be friends with guys because they thought I would steal their girl. <laughs> and when I met you, I felt like I finally found someone who actually cares about me. I just, I just really want us to be together. I mean, just the other day I went to the bathroom to get a paper towel to blow my nose. And this old lady was in there and she just stared at me and goes, go to hell you fucking dyke. But when I'm with you, I feel like none of that matters. I would go a lifetime with days like those if it meant I could be with you. I mean, can I ask, do you love me? Yes. And I make you happy? <laughs> of course. Then let's just be together. Maggie, I love you and all, but I'm just not ready to come out yet. Okay? And I want to be with you. I really do. And, and if we are, you're just going to have to be okay with that. Okay? I, I don't know what I was thinking. I, you can't make someone come out. You come out when you want to. Really? Okay. <sighs> if that means I get to be with you, I'm okay. I love you. I love you too. Jenna? Mom?